Hey, so kind of some bad news. Today's plan was retail arbitrage. I had some laptops picked out. I was gonna get at Walmart. And in my area, they're sold out. In your area, they could be still be there. Um, I posted a link in my Facebook page and Facebook group. So go there, check it out. They're uh, HP Graphite 15s. Anyway, so in my area, they're gone. All Michigan is wiped out, which kind of sucks. But we can salvage some profit today from this uh, Salvation Army. We're gonna pop in there and I'll show you what I do when I can't make money flipping laptops or whatever it is. Here's something you want to look for. This is a Guitar Hero guitar. Uh, we can tell it's for the Wii by this icon right here. I want four bucks for it. But unfortunately, the battery panel on back is missing, so it goes back on the shelf. Here's another one you want to look out for. These are new in box puzzles right there. You can see it's still factory sealed. They want four bucks for this, and it'll sell for a lot more online. I'll sell it on Amazon FBA, but you can also sell it on eBay as well. These are easy items for me, clock radios like this. I'll usually focus on brands like Sony or Philips because I can sell them on Amazon and a lot of people can't, so I have a little bit of advantage there. But they also sell well on eBay as well. You're gonna have to be more specific in what you buy. You can't just buy all of them randomly. Um, but when you look at this, and especially if they have the new updated, well, it's old now, but at the time updated um, port, the lightning port as opposed to the 30 pin port, those are relatively good too. When I'm buying mugs, I usually pass up on most of the stuff, but when I do buy them, it's stuff like this right here. So we can see in the bottom, it's, well, first of all, it's this milky color. Secondly, the, the brand is Fire King. And then we can see the year is 1958. So that's good. Most of these mugs are not worth much at all. But then back here, we see a Starbucks mug, and I haven't looked that up yet, but Starbucks mugs are a good, a good uh, niche to go into as well. Looks like this Starbucks mug will go for about nine or ten dollars, which is too low. But this mug here is going for about uh, twenty-five bucks. So I'm going to buy this, even though it's lower than my um, the profit I want to make. It's cool and uh, it's in good condition. I don't know. It's more of just kind of like I want to do this than I have to do it. That store, okay, I spent twenty bucks in there. I got three puzzles and two toys. I ended up leaving the mug in there because it was only like a ten dollar profit. And I really, even though I think it's cool, I really have to focus on the big profit items. And I think the way my business is kind of uh, transitioning or changing is I think what I'm doing more now, or I'll be doing more throughout the summer, is a lot more targeted retail arbitrage. So like finding really good deals on Walmart or, or Home Depot or Lowe's or wherever they are. And then as I go to those stores to buy the items, hit up the stores like this and just have that be like the extra padding, the extra cushioning um, on, my, on my business. I said, okay, I'm spending too much time on these $10 profits when I should be spending more time on $100, $200, $300 profits. I love thrift stores. It's still fun. It's still a great way to have that residual income. It isn't residual, but it feels like it. But if I think I can focus more again on the big retail arbitrage flips, the wholesale flips, the pinpoint flips from eBay to Amazon, that's gonna make more money overall. And so uh, keep, in, keep that in mind as I'm buying these things, like these puzzles right here. I bought three lost puzzles and they probably won't sell for like four months, between like two and four months for those. The sales rank on one of them was like 150,000. That'll sell. Uh, in about two months, and the other sales rank was like 600000 It was priced a bit higher too. And so I'm not getting those to sell next week. They might not sell until April. But if I'm focusing making, you know, 10 grand a month doing laptop flipping or whatever it is, or other stuff like that, not that I'm saying I'm making that much money, but just that's like the mindset I'm trying to adopt, then the money I make from thrift stores like this stuff down here is only gravy on top. I want this channel to be a place you guys go to learn things, not just like to waste time when you're listing or whatever. So let me know, is this helpful? Is this like vlog style helpful to you where I'm kind of going through my day and offering advice or is it just the time waste? I don't know. You tell me because at the end of the day, you're the consumer and I gotta make a product that is desirable for consumers. This is pretty interesting. These are, well, you saw it there, five bucks. They're Detroit Pistons Reebok jerseys, but they're blank, completely blank. And so these could be used for customization. Um, maybe a, a team needs a new set. I'm going to pass on them because they're not really selling. But if these were like hockey jerseys or something that I could easily do like my own design on, um, definitely would be a big buy. At first glance, this seems like a great buy. It's a 20-inch iMac for 36 bucks. You can tell what model number they are by looking in the bottom of it. 
down here they have uh, a few basic specs about the machine so we know it's a 20 inch 2.4 gigahertz and then down here is the model number now unfortunately it goes for about 80 bucks so i'm gonna put it back but still cool to see pretty standard haul i got a cool ansel adams print it was half off so it was only 650 not that i'm gonna sell this but i've been collecting these from stores the one thing i want to show you out of there uh is not the new in box toy or anything it's beneath it it's a uh, oh it fell onto the very bottom it's an, a new or at least mostly unused thing of uh, St. Eve's aloe vera therapy lotion. This discontinued St. Eve's stuff, and I think that's how you pronounce it, sells for a lot of money. When you're thrifting, it's easy to fall into the trap of only sourcing the things you know. So if you're good at toys, or maybe electronics or whatever it is, you're gonna avoid like the knickknack section where I found that lotion. There's no comp on that lotion, but if you type in discontinued St. Eve's or any more, um, niche brand product that has a loyal fan base you're gonna see they are paying upwards of like in some cases 50 times face value 50 times i think i'll do one or two more stores my intention for today was to find those laptops and the entire every walmart in michigan has been uh cleared out of these laptops i wanted and i have the upc code again in the facebook group so join that if you want to and if you've enjoyed the video so far please subscribe and comment below with your thoughts on it i'm trying to make these better for you sometimes you go into a store and you know like right away that it's been picked through this store right there someone was there before me or it may have been a few people i don't know but uh all i could really buy was this it's an amiibo uh new in box super mario odyssey peach toy and it's currently selling for like 25 bucks on amazon i'm gonna hold it it's gonna go in my warehouse for a year or two maybe who knows and i'll try and get like 90 bucks out of it these things sell really good when they're um when they're no longer in stock or no longer available because people are they're, they're collectors they want the whole set so hopefully i can squeeze maybe 90 bucks is too much but i mean like you know what i'm saying a lot more than it would have gone for in a store um you know, you just want to recognize that these stores sometimes, they get picked over and then get out of there. Uh, your time is valuable. And on that note, I'm going to leave you guys and get out of here. Uh, have a good day and don't be a shithead.